Hi, this is Mike Wallach with Trimec, and today I want to show you how to import CATIA models into SOLIDWORKS. So here I have a CATIA model in CATIA v5, and I want to bring this into SOLIDWORKS. The first method I want to show you is a great solution if you have SOLIDWORKS Premium, which I do. So I'm going to go to Options, Import, and on the General page, I want to make sure Enable 3D Interconnect is on. Now this is the default setting. 3D Interconnect, in addition to allowing you to bring in neutral format files like Parasolid files, STEP files, IGES files, it also allows you to open non-native files like CATIA files. But for CATIA, you have to have SOLIDWORKS Premium. So with 3D Interconnect enabled, I'm going to go to open this cat part. And it will begin reading the model. And yes, I do want to run import diagnostics. I have no faulty faces or gaps. I'm going to go ahead and hide these two default planes it brought in. But first, let's look at the structure that it attached. So the CATIA part file is linked as the imported body in a SOLIDWORKS file. So we've got a solid body that's been imported along with a couple of reference planes. I don't really need to see those reference planes, so I'll go ahead and hide those. But there we have it, just that easy. I have a CATIA file, or a CATIA model, here in SOLIDWORKS. Now, this link is being maintained to the original CATIA model. So later, if that part gets updated in CATIA, I could update it here in SOLIDWORKS as well. Or I can right click on the imported body and the link. If I do that, then it's just a disconnected imported body at this point. Now, let's take a look at how to import a CATIA model if you don't have SOLIDWORKS Premium. So I'm going to go close this one. Don't. And back to CATIA. Well, I can't directly open a CATIA file if I don't have SOLIDWORKS Premium. But what I could do is do a save as from CATIA to a STEP format or another neutral format. I'm just going to go ahead and use STEP. And then, back in SOLIDWORKS, I can open that STEP file. And it imports. And 3D Interconnect is still on. So, see, we have maintained that link to the STEP file with the Solid Bodies folder, although this time we didn't get those reference planes and I can break the link like before. And there you have it, two ways to get CATIA parts into SOLIDWORKS. Thanks and have a good day.